Today we pause to remember the many men and women who have served in our Defence Force and in other capacities over the years to preserve our freedom and our way of life. This Anzac Day, will you join with me in prayer as we open our Anzac ceremony? Let's pray. God of love and liberty, we bring our thanks this day for the peace and security we enjoy, which was won for us through the courage and devotion of those who gave their lives in time of war. We pray that their labour and sacrifice may not be in vain, but that their spirit may live on in us and in generations to come. That the liberty, truth and justice which they sought to preserve may be seen and known in all the nations upon earth. This we pray in the name of the one who gave his life for the sake of the world, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Bible reading this morning comes from 1 John chapter 3, verses 16 to 18. We know what real love is because Christ gave up his life for us. And so we also ought to give up our lives for our Christian brothers and sisters. But if anyone has enough money to live well and sees a brother or sister in need and refuses to help, how can God's love be in that person? For the first time in Australian history, the anniversary of our first military action in World War I will be commemorated differently in our country. Anzac Day this year will not be remembered with ex-servicemen and women, all their families, marching through our cities and towns. It will not be remembered with publicly attended dawn services to commemorate the landing at Gallipoli. It will not be remembered with games of two-up at the local RSL or rugby league matches. This year, Anzac Day will be commemorated in the hearts and the minds of Australians in a way that connects us to the Anzac spirit like we have never experienced before. What is the Anzac spirit? We hear it referenced often in Anzac Day commemorations and during other times of difficult challenges in our country. But what does it really mean? The Anzac spirit refers to the positive qualities that the Australian and New Zealand soldiers displayed on the battlefield during World War I, which also continue to define the Australian character. These were qualities of courage, endurance, humour, ingenuity and mateship. The current global health crisis has demonstrated that the Anzac spirit continues to remain strong in Australians all these years later despite the difficult circumstances. Our health professionals on the front line are demonstrating courage each day by putting their care of others above themselves. The larrikin Aussie humour is alive and well with the creative ways residents are putting out their wheelie bins each week. Businesses have quickly adapted their business models to continue to service their customers and most importantly, Although we are limited in our ability to connect in a physical sense at this time, we continue to check in with family and friends through technology, mail and other ways. Tomorrow, as we commemorate Anzac Day within our homes and within our families, I encourage you to show your respect for those who served and personally sacrificed for our country. Australians are encouraged to stand in their own driveways or on their balconies at dawn to listen to the ode and the last post on the radio and share a one minute silence together. In Flanders Field by John McRae. In Flanders fields where poppies grow, between the crosses row on row, that mark our place and in the sky, the larks still bravely singing fly, scarce heard amid the guns below, we are the dead short days ago. We lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up the quarrel with the foe. To you from failing hands we throw. The torch be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep though poppies grow in Flanders field. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. 
we will remember them. lest we forget. <laughs>